All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And in this one, I wanted to continue discovering or continue exploring what it is that Rescue Ace can do as a budget player. And I say that very loosely. I, I say budget very loosely because now the main deck of Rescue Ace is basically a few pennies. Like nothing in this main deck is worth more than a dollar besides Prosperity, Nib, and Ash. And so Rescue Ace have kind of gotten to this point of like uber affordability. And once Rarity Collection 2 comes out, access code is going to be affordable. Dempsey's already pretty much there. And really, you're, you really only need to put up big bucks for SP and the Promethean Princess. Everything else in this deck is like so cheap. And so I wanted to explore a budget option simply because uh, the loss of Baron was seemingly significant to stopping Rescue Ace and the loss of Link Rebo as well. Those were two really significant hits to Rescue Ace Super Heavy also because Rescue Ace defaulted to Baron as the backup play if you already opened your airlifter so you didn't need to go into Dempsey. Baron was like the second best option to go into. And now that just is no longer the case. So we had to get creative. The banning of Baron and a Borload forced us to get a little more creative and so now our answer is beyond the pendulum beyond the pendulum actually has a line that goes into appalooza and this unironically makes the deck a lot safer from hand traps because you don't actually even need to open the bike to go into the apo and i think that's the beautiful part of it you can get a tunigate apo with just wakashi or bike by itself and you know yeah you may be playing into droll and droll is really the only hand trap that really stops you maybe other than like imperm but otherwise like you're really not losing that hard to hand traps when you go for apo compared to compared to just playing rescue ace normally now yes the simple spoil stuff is still stronger than super heavy but i feel like uh, rescue ace has a lot of strengths as a deck and i just want to keep on exploring what super heavy can do now that melodious has kind of taken its limelight it's kind of wonderful because terahertz does still work the longer variant of the combo does still work even without link rebo and we're going to get into both those combo lines this is just a sample list you can probably cut the list down to 40 maybe side out the nibs. I was also trying to theory out, thing about Rescue Ace is that the deck doesn't need its extra deck. The extra deck is kind of just there to be utility. So that's why we have like the one SP. Anima's really here to take advantage of a hydrant that you don't need. Axis codes here because it's easy to link climb into it with either protect code or if with your exceed the pendulum. Let's just look into some lines. So just to go over how the deck can still go for Terahertz, we go for Wakashi to go Big Benke. Big Benke can get Gaia Booster, Gaia Booster can equip, Gaia Booster can then summon, overlay for Dempsey. Dempsey can then get you the uh, airlifter and you can detach from Dempsey if you feel like it to stop your battling boxers from being targeted, which is to stop Dempsey from being targeted by card effects where it's a turn, which really won't do much, but it's cool, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, you get to go Emergency, Hydrant, Turbulence, Banish 2. Turbulence is going to set 4. And then you get to go Alert, Search Preventer. We get to go Anima. Now that we can't go Link Rebo, Anima is our best bet. Uh, Preventer, Link Off into Rep. Preventer, Summon Back Airlifter. Rep can change airlifter to a Cybers, go into Link Decoder, go into Protect Code Talker, Link Decoder can bring itself back. And this is where it gets kind of important because you want to go for something like Firewall. Now, you don't need Dempsey to stay on field. If anything, you know, this could still be done with just a single airlifter. But I made the decision that Turbulence is a better card to keep on field than Dempsey. So I decided just to keep the Turbulence on field and then go for Firewall. Protect Code can banish the anima and the rep to summon itself back. And then since you have a co-linked monster, you can use firewall to get you some follow-up, you know, preventer here. You could also add back the airlifter if you wanted. You could add back the Wakashi, the hydrant. You have a lot of options. I really wish you can make like an IP Mascarena here because then you can make the terahertz during your opponent's turn and just save firewall as like a interruption for the opponent's turn. But alas, we can go into Terahertz, and then Terahertz is going to mill our Cyber's D-Save Worm. And D-Save Worm is going to be able to be a spell trap negate, and as you guys already know, 
about terahertz it's like spell trap negate plus we can mill again during our opponent's turn mill the aggregator and that's a pseudo negate like that's a trigger effect negate so in a new chain it'll negate whatever the opponent's doing and then we have monster interruption with contain and extinguish so it's a pretty good setup we're not playing into super poly and if our terahertz were to be removed by anything turbulence can trigger to uh, pop a card on the opponent's field so it's a good line of defense and terahertz is actually amazing against tenpai because your opponent cannot activate monster effects or any monster effect they activate in battle phase is negated um, and that's a continuous effect so even if they have transcendence on field they still don't really get to utilize its effects against your uh, terahertz because terahertz is just going to negate everything that they try to do during battle phase and it's insane amount of attack is going to make it really hard for tenpai to get over this without non-engine and they're going to need more th they're, they're going to need multiple non-engine because of the spell trap negate with the d save worm so that's really cool so i really like terahertz in this list so now i wanted to take you guys a little further or one step further right so what can super heavy samurai do as an alternative line if you either don't care about the terahertz or if you already opened the airlifter and the answer to that is that you can go Wakashi, you can go Big Benke, Gaia Booster, Summon, go for Beyond the Pendulum, right? Because why not? So it's kind of like a low risk thing because it only locks you out of mo activating monster effects if the full effect resolves. So if the full effect resolves and you get your search, then you're locked into no monster effects until you pendulum summon. But if you if they negate the effect for her to search, you're not locked out of anything. You can just continue continue playing. So she this is all kind of just hand trap bait. And if they don't fall for it, then you know all the more power to them. So now Ixi the Pendulum can add back the Wakashi, and then they could summon the Wakashi from hand, link off into Apo, and it's gonna have two negates. And then we can norm summon an airlifter. And then do something simple from there. Go like with the emergency, hydrant, turbulence, and this is like a lot safer than rescue ace usually is, because usually we don't get the, to make the apo before we resolve airlifter or hydrant. Usually apo is like one of the last things you do in your turn, so the ability to go for apo is super heavy. Seems like a really good trade off for um, Baron, and it's way more consistent as well. It takes up three slots in extra deck, but you have six ways into it um, in your main deck. So if you kept your main deck at 40, that's around like a 50 to 60. Like it's basically a coin flip that you will draw Appaloosa or a way into Appaloosa or a way into Airlifter on top of Rota and Airlifter itself. Pretty good odds, pretty good odds in your favor. And also the triple emergency as well. You can't forget about that. So. Unfortunately, when you do the line this way, Turbulence only gets to set three, but you have a stronger setup with the Apo and the Turbulence, and this only used two cards out of hand. So there's three of the cards you, you can potentially have in hand for more interruptions, hand traps, um, Impulse, uh, Valor, Ash, Nib even, because once this Apo is gone, like you really don't care if you nib the field. You can also um, you know, set the Extinguish, you can set the rescue just to make sure you still have uh, bodies on field. You could link off the turbulence and the hydrant so that you're not playing into uh, Super Poly because Super Poly is still a pretty popular card. And yeah. Let's go for alert, search preventer. And yeah, that gives you access into anything except terahertz. You actually cannot go terahertz here because you need the up down arrow of the Reprodocus. But otherwise, this is a pretty good line just for protecting your plays uh, going first and uh, getting the most out of the super heavy engine, even if you already open the airlifter. As the format opens up a little more, as there's more decks that are allowed to participate in the format, I think a deck like this could probably go into the radar. Uh, terahertz only being able to be used if you go for Dempsey isn't strong enough, but I think it's good, but Solemn Judgment exists as well, so maybe you should just pray you draw the Solemn instead of trying to 
force it into, or instead of trying to force terahertz in, and it does still take up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slots in your extra deck. So it is a big ask to do terahertz nowadays, especially now that we don't have um, G Golem, Crystal Heart, and Binary Sorceress available with the loss of Link Karibo. It's just really hard to make those cards work without Link Karibo in the list and there's just no way around it. Without Link Karibo or without the Reprodocus, you can really only get to Firewall plus Protect Code. You can't really do much else. And even then, it's like just Firewall plus Protect Code really isn't that strong. I, I guess Zeolantis could fit in this extra in a different world or over Aggregator. Yeah, like over like you can probably put Zeolantis over Aggregator and probably have a better time with the deck. Also, Princess, you don't really care too much about linking the princess off, like it's okay if princess stays around because your options really just are Ambla Whale. And I don't know if Ambla Whale is like really worth playing. You could just put like Hita in, in the extra deck. I think Hita is just a good monster to end on, but you're you're most likely gonna end on fires regardless. Like you don't need, I guess that would be the one thing. It's like, you, you just need to find like a space for like Hita over aggregator. And I think maybe that could work as well if you're gonna play princess in the line like if you don't open super heavy at all you know you guys think about rescue ace this format or even super heavy rescue ace if if you wanted a more uh budget friendly variant of the deck i know master duel rescue ace is still pretty much a full power closer to full power even with maxi in the format but ever since snake eyes came out in master duel i'm i'm betting that Rescue Ace isn't doing as well. Yeah, uh, that's been all for now. Uh, this has been your boy Nistro here, signing out.